Hello everyone. Welcome again. I'm back. When thinking about what to say for this speech, two thoughts occurred to me. The first one was that I had no idea what to say. The task of writing this was pretty daunting, but as I sat pondering what to say to you today, I realized that a class that I took two out of my four years at Northwestern mirrored my high school experience pretty well. I anxiously walked into this classroom for the first time my sophomore year, and as the class began and progressed throughout the year, this particular teacher created fear and intimidation within me like I have never felt before or since. It reached the point where I was kind of scared to breathe, and for those of you who have had her, you can relate. I wanted to impress her, of course. We all did. I had heard that she was awesome, and I liked the subject that she taught. But I also heard that she was scary, and being the people blazer that I am, tried so hard to do everything right in order to avoid what seemed to be inevitable wrath. The class was hard, and the tests were harder, but we all strived to do well. We all aimed to please her and to make good grades, but more than anything else, we desired her respect and favor. And eventually, the intimidation turned into respect on our part, and we all developed an actual addiction to Crystal's math. But it wasn't just her math. It was her intelligence, her drive, her love for her job, for us, and for her wisdom. For, you see, Miss Walters taught us more than trig equations. She taught us about life. And Northwestern High School has done the same thing. Coming in as freshmen, we had no idea what to expect. We had heard about high school, both the good and the bad, and yet we're still unsure what it held for us. We were scared out of our minds, and while some of us may be in that same state today, it is accompanied by an overwhelming sense of excitement and accomplishment, and rightfully so. I considered listing all of the accomplishments and events that we've witnessed and participated in during our four years at Northwestern, but you know them. You've lived them. You experienced all three state football games and the thrill of whooping South Point on national television. Most of you have dressed in ridiculous clothing to show your school spirit, adorned yourselves in togas under Friday night lights, sat through pep rallies and presentations, and experienced the euphoria of prom. Graduates, know that while Northwestern has shaped us, we have also shaped it. The classes after us will remember our names, our faces, and what we did. We've established trends, created new words, new brands, set records, and impacted the lives of students and staff alike. We've impacted each other's lives too. The other thought that occurred to me while trying to think about what to say was that I am so thankful. I will admit that while I was drowning in IB exams, Spanish orals, history projects, and assessment statements, I wasn't exactly an overflowing fountain of gratitude. Quite the opposite. But now that it's over, I want to say thank you to the teachers for putting up with us when our senioritis seemed to reach terminal status. I also want to say a special thank you to the teachers who went above and beyond. I hope you know who you are. Yes, you taught us trig equations and introduced us to great literature such as Jane Eyre, but you let us into your lives so that we could learn about life. We are prepared for college and life after that because of the wisdom that you imparted to us outside of standards and curriculum. So thank you. I hope you know the respect that we hold for you. I'm sure that I speak for all the graduates when I say thank you to family and friends. It's funny how family becomes friends and friends become family. My parents are my best friends, and I want to thank them so much for their love for the Lord, for their support, and for their wisdom over the past 18 years. You guys saw the worst of it. You got the full brunt of the meltdowns and the late night stress outs. Thank you so much for being here right now for the best of it too. You deserve this graduation almost as much as I do. Thanks to my little brother, Josh, too. You push me every day to be the best I can, and I'm excited to see the footprints that you leave at Northwestern all on your own. To my friends, especially those who have endured the IB program with me, I probably would not be here alive today without y'all. 
You were the ones who could only you were the only ones who could understand the stress, and you have helped me bear the weight of it all. You have provided me with a fantastic high school experience, and the memories you have given me over the past four years will endure for a lifetime. I'm a first hand witness to the fact that you have worked long and hard and you deserve this. Thanks for making the roller coaster of high school worth riding. Graduates, because of your experience at Northwestern, I know that you will be successful. We're all going to go our separate ways after today. And the fact that these next words are quite possibly the last one some of you will ever hear me say hasn't evaded me. In fact, it's weighed heavily on my heart. Being here in this moment with this honor is something that I've had my eyes set on since middle school. And I told myself that if I reached this point that I would give the credit where it's due. I understand that many of you do not hold the same beliefs as I do, but I am fully convinced that apart from Jesus Christ, I can do nothing, and therefore it is to him and him alone that I give all of the glory, honor, and praise. For I was a sinner, dead in my transgressions, an enemy of God, and a child of his wrath. But God, in his great love and mercy, sent down his one and only son to live the perfect life that I could never live and to take on the death and wrath of God that I deserve. He saved me from my sin and death and hell, and for that I will forever give him and him alone all of the glory. He is the one who has provided me with the teachers, the family, and the friends who have shaped me into the person that I am today in this moment, and for that I am so thankful. Congratulations, graduates. You're ready. I wish you all the best of success. I couldn't have asked for a better four years. So, in the words of Minor Myers, go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. Thank you.